impact on Amen. each and every person this morning. And Father, we, we want to bless God for all of you um, who are watching by the internet, by Zoom, by Facebook. Um, we just want to bless God for you all this morning. This is the test Sunday in the month of January. This is the 10th of This is the fourth Sunday. Yeah, this month, we have five Sundays, I hope. I hope I'm right. Amen. But we just want to bless God. Today, uh, the 24th day of the month of January. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is a privilege that we can see today. Yes. People that we saw last week, uh, they are no more this week. People that, that, that were um, alive last week, that we could talk to last week, we can talk to them this week. So we are grateful to God. Amen. It's not because of works. It's not because of anything that we've done. It's all because of the goodness of God. It's all because of God's faithfulness. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And, and like we always say, that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. And let us be glad in it. Amen. Father, we thank you this morning. We pray, Lord, that you will speak to us again. Amen. We pray, Father, that We've not come to listen to a man. We've come to listen to you. Give us ears to hear. Give us a will to do. Help us, Lord, that will not only be hearers of your word. Help us to be exciting doers of your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, I, I, I was thinking on, you know, during the week, um, what, what we could, you know, share today. And then I sense the need to continue from where we were last week. Okay, uh, the need to continue. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. And, 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 and today we want to discuss what does it mean to be the salt of the earth? Mm. What does it mean to be the salt of the earth? Being the salt of the earth is one thing, but what does it mean to be the salt of the earth? Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Somebody there just read it for us very quickly. Matthew 5, 13. Yeah. You are the salt of the earth. Amen. But if the salt loses its saltiness, mm -hmm. how can it be made salty again? Mm -hmm. It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under foot. Yeah. yeah. So, what does it mean? Jesus said, You are the salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. You are the salt of the earth. And the question this morning is, What does it mean to be the salt of the earth? What does it mean? And, and what does Jesus, what does Jesus uh, say that we are to be the salt of the earth? From what angle, from what position was Jesus speaking? When he said we, we, we should be the salt of the earth. And what, what, what is the meaning of this statement that he made? But, but let's look at, let's look at salt again. Let's look at the essential or the importance of salt for life. The importance of salt for life. Scientifically, no human life is possible without sodium chloride. Scientifically. No human life is possible without sodium chloride or salt. No human life. No human life is possible without sodium chloride salt because salt is the only trace mineral that you can find in every cell in a human body the only mineral that you can actually trace and find in a human body is salt salt is the only uh, 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 mineral that that, that 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 you can find in a human cell in the whole of the human body so without salt the organism will cease to function. And because of that, salt is a biological necessity for every person. Salt is a biological necessity. For example, salt contains uh, um, what the scientist calls iodine. And iodine prevents, it prevents uh, oh, troidism, whatever that word is. Amen. But it also helps the bodies to retain and, and balance fluids without salt. So the human life 
could not exist. Salt was once considered to be so valuable that it was used as a currency. I said that last week Sunday. Salt was used as a currency. The Roman soldiers were paying the soldiers for salt with salt. So if a soldier did not come to work or did not show up, he was not paid because they considered him to not be worthy of the salt. So in fact, the word the word that we have today that we call salary. Eh? Everybody know the word salary, right? Yeah. The word salary comes from the word salt. It comes from salt. But, but when Jesus talked about the believer's need to be salt, what did it actually mean? Did it, was this what Jesus was referring to? If this is what Jesus was referring to, so if the question is, why are we to be the salt of the earth? Why must you be the salt of the earth? Jesus once talked about relationship between believers and they are being salt in the earth. Matthew 13 that we just read. And Jesus said, you are the salt. But then he goes on, he says, if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? You can't season salt. So because salt cannot be seasoned but it, it is, is, is the one that really seasons so when when the one that's supposed to season loses its saltiness there's nothing you can do about it just to throw it away the bible says trump it on her feet trump it on her feet so it is it is only good to be trumpet on her feet by men but listen consider this for a moment just consider this for a moment salt is invaluable to human life and so Christians are to be an extension of Jesus Christ and we offer the message of the priceless eternal life in Christ you and I we are to be an extension of Christ we are to be an extension of Christ and as an extension of Christ what is it that we're doing we are to offer the message this priceless message this gift of eternal life in Christ why because without Christ, eternal life in the kingdom is impossible. Without Christ, eternal life in the kingdom is impossible. So you and I must be an extension. You must be an extension of Jesus Christ. And as an extension of Christ, you are to preach this priceless gospel to win many to Christ. Because without him, there can be no entry into the kingdom. Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 4, verse 12. So the problem is, if you lose your testimony, your life is no different uh -huh. than the unbelieving world. If you lose your subtleness, if you lose your testimony, then your life is no better than the unbelieving world. Than the unbelieving world. They are believing well, then what happens is you lose your subtleness, and, and when you lose your subtleness, it's only good to be thrown out and, 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 and just trample on the foot. Yeah. Listen, oh, tasteless salt. Yeah. Salt that have lost its flavor. Mm. It's no good at all. Mm. It's useless. It's only good to be trampled on the foot. Once a salt has lost its saltiness, it is no longer good. But the salt that still has its saltiness mm. is able to season everything it touches. Amen. 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 Are we seasoning everything that we come in contact with? This is an evidence of our being the salt, and this is our evidence of maintaining our saltiness. This is the evidence that we season everything that we come in touch with. 
We understand, I said last week, that salt enhances the taste of food. Yeah. When you cook the food, the reason why you put the salt in the food, so that it can enhance the taste of the food. But also, salt was used as a cleansing agent for the wounds. When you got cut, yeah. they put salt in it. Even now, when you get cut, if you can't find that it's not alcohol, they tell you put a little salt or use the salt water and wash the wound so that the blood can stop. Salt was, and even now, salt is still being used as a, preserv as a preservative agent, a preservative agent, preserving agent for foods so that food gets spoiled. Yeah. So we still use salt now. Even now, people still use salt to keep food from spoiling. Sure. Today, many medications, many medicines still contain salt compounds. Mm -hmm. Most of the medicine that we take contains some level of salt compound. Yeah. And the old home remedy are the old ways, the old school ways of, 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 of goggling water with, with, with warm water with salt. Can get rid of sore throat and can also help you to heal. Yeah. Amen. Didn't mama tell you that we get sore throat just baby, my baby? We don't have money for hospital, we don't have a, a, a medical aid. So you got sore throat, yes, man. My baby, bring a cup of water. Mama, take a little cup of water, warm water, put a little salt in it, and then you google it down your throat. It's medication. And what does it do? It heals the sore throat. Yeah. It gets rid of the sore throat and it helps. The toothache, don't you think people tell you when you get toothache, just take some salt water and just Google it in the tooth and the germ that gets died? That is how salt is important. That is the importance of salt. And when, when, and when the salt water touches the toothache, it kills the germs and it cleans the teeth. It kills the bacteria. And the tooth becomes better. Of course, in 2 Kings, in, in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 21, God had Elijah throw in salt in the water. Yeah. What was the essence? To heal. To heal this water. The water was bitter. So in order to heal the water, God told Elijah to throw salt into the water to heal the water. Yeah. And he said, from now on, not a death, not miscarriage shall come from it. Amen. Amen. Salt. Salt. You are the salt of the earth, Jesus says. And he says if the salt loses its saltiness, then all it is good for is to be thrown out and trampled upon. Listen, if the salt was ruined by exposure to moisture or the elements, it was then mixed together to form a, 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 a gymsum. And, and this 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 compound or this 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 element or uh, a compound that the salt and the gypsum mixture was then used to seal roofs. Mm. When you when you leave the salt open and the salt starts to so you know why it makes water and melt, mm. it is mixed with another with, uh, with another element. With another element. And when they mix it, they use it to seal up as for some of us who comes from the township, you know, who comes from Aule Mokuku and stuff like that. You know, they can use it to come and patch the leakage mm. oh, salt. Wow. To patch the leakage in ancient times. And since the roofs in the tent when Jesus had his heavenly ministry were like another roof. So we could use that also. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 5, 13, it says sometimes, so sometimes when Christians lose their testimony. Now, I, I'm saying this, uh, the importance of you being a salt of the earth. Now, I'm giving you all the analogy of the salt so that it relates to you of what you're supposed to be to the world. Amen. When we talk about the salt losing its saltiness, we can equate it to you losing your testimony. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> we can equate it to you losing your testimony by compromising. And when you lose your testimony by compromising, you're not different from the unbelievers. 
You are no different from the unbeliever. When we mix the salt, the salt is mixed with this uh, uh, gymsum. And the word gymsum means bitter. The word gymsum means bitter. And the example or the analogy is that when Christians become bitter, their subtleness is lost and they are not good for much anymore. Gymsum is, is a bitter compound. And the example we make to for believers is that when believers get better, they lose their saltiness. Yeah. They appreciate. They lose their saltiness. Mm. What led to the formation of the Jesus was the salt that have lost their saltiness combined mm. and form Jesus. And Jesus is better. So it is like a believer who loses his saltiness by being better. You can season when you're better. Mm-hmm. Better people don't. No, that's nothing better can season anything. No. Mm-hmm. So it's compared to believers when they lose their saltiness, they become better. Their bitterness is lost. Their saltiness is lost. And they are not good for much more than repairing a leaky roof, only to be thrown upon foot. Mm-hmm. The gymsum is used to do what? To patch the leaking roof. Mm. It comes from a salt combined with something, but the salt that has worn out and lost its saltiness is combined with another compound, with another element, and, 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 and it becomes gymsum, and the gymsum is better. It's used to patch the zinc. So in the same way, when a believer loses their saltiness mm. by being better, they are only good for patching. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they only go for batching leakages. Yes, Jesus. Mm. And you know this, you know the roof. What do we do with the roof? The, 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 the captain who goes on the roof, he walks on the roof, right? Mm-hmm. The same way. Because he has lost his saltiness. So he's only good to be trampled upon. Mm. Jesus. There was another use of salt that was tinted. Was that salt was used for rolls in the Roman Empire. Those days in the Romans Empire, they used salt to make for rose. Like we see now where they put the tars. Mm-hmm. The worthless salt still has some value in it as it absorbed, you know, moisture and made the road that much, much harder, which again shows that worthless salt that loses its saltiness will be good only to be trouble on a foot. So when the salt loses its tar- saltiness, it's, it's, it's good, but only going to be trouble on our Jesus. So the example here is that when Christians become tinted by unrepented sin mm. and all are bitter or bitterness mm. and their hearts become hardened, they lose their subtleness oh, yeah. and they are hard to be around, yeah. difficult to be around. Hey. True. See the task on the road. You check the 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 the, 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 the elements that are mixed that the, that the mixture that produce the the quota that we got on the road today. What with the car drives on, there should be there will be an element of salt there. Yeah. Yeah. There will be an element of salt. Yeah. Yeah. If you check all the all the components they put together, there will be an element of salt. Mm-hmm. So when the Christian becomes tinted. How does the Christian become tinted by unrepentant sin and bitterness? Yeah. When it becomes that, their heart becomes hardened. And when the heart becomes hardened, what happens? The believer loses their saltiness and they are hard to be around. Yeah. That's why you can see the truck pass over those stuff. They don't destroy it. It's hard. And many times, when we check in the Old Testament, the lands that were to be destroyed were often salted down mm. so that the soil could not produce crops. Yeah. Those days, mm. when people wanted to destroy the land, yeah. they didn't want anything to grow there, mm. but they just come and waste salt. Yeah. They just waste salt. Nothing is going to grow there. Yeah. Nothing is going to grow yeah. there. They just, they just waste salt. Even today, mm. just waste salt. Mm. 
Maybe you got some plants that are disturbing you, you know, in the backyard. You don't need them. Every time you pull them out, they're still growing. Just put some salt. You will see them again. Amen. So salt is very important. It's very, very important. This makes sense. Indeed, when we look at this in light of Paul's statement in Colossians chapter 4, verse 6, it makes a lot of sense. What does Paul say in Colossians chapter 4, verse 6? Paul says, let your speech always be gracious. Let your speech always be gracious. Let your speech be seasoned with salt. So that you may know how to or how you ought to answer each person. So now we see Paul's statement here makes sense. Paul says, let your speech be seasoned with salt. Amen. Amen. Let your speech be seasoned with salt, so that you may know how that you have to answer each person. Christians who lose their saltiness become bitter, and they are hardened, and they are of little use. And you see other Christians who have become so bitter, become so hard, and so difficult, they become of no use or of little use. Yeah. Except to be trampled on her foot. Do you remember Lot's wife? Mm-hmm. You remember Lot's wife? Mm-hmm. Is it in Genesis? Or, or, or? Is, what, is it in Genesis? Yeah. Yeah. You remember Lot's wife? Mm-hmm. Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now the question is why did she become a pillar of salt? She looked back with re- she looked back with regret after leaving Sodom and she became a pillar of salt. Why did she look back? Or why did she become a pillar of salt? Because when she looked back, it is possible that bitterness entered her. Yeah. yeah. That bitterness entered her. Yeah. That bitterness and it is possible that when she looked back, bitterness. She, she, she was better about living her good life and her luxury in Sodom. So she looked back. It's possible that bitterness and all. Oh. You got to preserve your workmates who don't know Christ. You got to be the salt of the earth. You got to bring season to their life. Oh, yeah. Got to season them. You see, I, I, I believe we need to understand what our roles are. Mm. We need to understand what God expects of us. Yeah. Listen, you can do all the things you want to do. You can pray 500 hours, but if you're not operating as a son of the earth, you're not fulfilling your purpose. Amen. You can quote how many scriptures you want to quote. You can quote from Genesis to Revelation, yeah. but if you are not seasoning somebody's life, you are not fulfilling your purpose. Amen. One of the greatest divine excitement that we have is that we are salt of the earth and we must do everything to demonstrate. We must do everything to fulfill this responsibility that God has given us. Amen. 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 You can't afford to leave somebody who don't know Christ and you keep conversation with them and you leave them. At the end, you leave them without bringing taste to their life. Somebody said the other day, they said, Oh, uh, we're going for a corona test because somebody close to us had, was tested positive. So I told them, I said, We pray with you. We pray that the result will come out negative. Mm-hmm. And then they write back, They said, Pastor, we got the result last night. It is negative. Amen. Mm-hmm. There is a way you gotta bring see you gotta season somebody's life. Amen. 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 Listen, if you're not impacting, then you're not the salt. Yes. Yeah. And if you claim to be the salt, it means you are the salt, but you lost your saltiness. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And if you lost your saltiness, then you're not good for anything. Yeah. But it'll be trampled on her foot. 
This Christian life that God has called us to is not a lack of comparison. It's not a lack of show up. We oh. didn't, God didn't call us to prove anything to anybody. Oh. He didn't call you to show that you are anointed oh. or how well you can pray. Oh. He called you to be the salt of the earth. Amen. That's what he called you to do. Amen. So and the more we realize this responsibility, the less we start comparing ourselves with other people. Oh, yeah. The less we start trying to impress people. Uh, the less we start to do things to make people or to make ourselves look good. Uh, uh, yeah. Because our responsibility is to be the salt, be the salt. of the earth. Amen. That's what you call us to. Um, the salt of the earth. When the salt loses, just as the salt is able to lose its saltiness, same way the believer is able to lose your testimony. Oh, when you lose your testimony, you are months for nothing. Just like the salt. We are the salt of the earth. We are the salt of the earth. This is the assignment that he has called you to. And that's a question you need to ask yourself. Am I the salt of the earth? Am I the soul of the earth? I hear the singer say, I'm the soul of the earth. I'm the soul of the earth. I'm a yeast that I season the world. I'm a yeast that influence the world. Are you seasoning the world? Are you influencing the world? That is the responsibility that he has called us to. God has not called us to titles. No. Want to be called bishop? Want to be called archbishop? No, he has called you to be the salt of the earth. Yes. Amen. Tattoos are inconsequential. Are you the salt of the earth? How well are you seasoning? How well are you impacting lives? How well are you seasoning? How well are you impacting lives? Because you've been called to be the salt to those who are perishing, to those who don't know Christ. If there be any time I said last week, if there is any time that we read that we needed to be more salty to the world, that we needed to season the world more, the time is now. Amen. The time is now. When you have countries where in every 24 hours, 566 persons are dying, 3,000 people are dying, 4,000 people are dying in every 24 hours, then the time to season the world is now. Amen. Are you the salt of the earth? Are you the salt of the earth? Are you seasoning lives? Are you preserving lives? Are you seasoning lives? Sad enough, there are people who are running, who are running for titles. Sad enough, there are people who, you know, who, who try to, 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 you know, and, and get into their competitive game and, 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 and they, they, they all about materialistic and all about other things and try to please people and try to be something else. God didn't call you to be John Brown. God didn't call you to be Mary. God didn't call you to be Esther. God called you to be the salt of the earth. Amen. Mm. Call you to be the salt of the uh, earth. Call you to be you. God called you to be who you. He called you to be who you are. Amen. God didn't call you to be somebody else. Amen. You see, the salt never tries to be the sugar. Ah. And as much as they have resemblance, the salt has never tried to be the sugar. Yeah. And you cannot compare the salt and the sugar because they got different functions. Oh, yeah. Sugar sweetens. Salt preserves. Amen. Ah. She got sweetened, so present. So they got two different personalities. They are together, they, they look alike, but their function is not the same. Stop trying to be like somebody else. Be you, be who you are. And do the simple task that God has called you to do. Amen. Be the soul of the earth. Amen. Take the simple instruction that God has given you. Be the salt of the earth. Amen. Be the salt of the earth. He's called you to be the salt of those who are perishing without Christ. Yeah. He's called you to enhance everything that, that you come in contact with. He's that. called you to enhance everything that you come in contact with. Yes. He's called you to act as a life-preserving agent by proclaiming the author of life. Yeah. And he's called you to avoid the hardness, the bitterness, the flavorlessness, the looseness of you, the loosening of your testimony. That's why he has called you to. That's why he has called you to. He has called you to, 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 to preserve, to be a preserving agent. He's called you to contact. He called you to act as a life preserving agent. Are you a life preserving agent? 
He's called you to proclaim the author of life. That's what he called you to. That's what the gospel is. The gospel is about proclaiming the author of life, Jesus Christ. Amen. That is the gospel. That's what he's called you to do. And God has called you to avoid hardness. To avoid hardness. The Bible says, Lord, we have looked back. She became a hard pillow of salt. Yes. What leads to being hardness? Bitterness of heart. So he says, God has called you. God has not called you. And God has called you to avoid hardness. Be bitter. He has called you to, 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 to avoid this flavorlessness. You know, flavorlessness means the lack of flavor. Yeah. You, you, the, 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 the subtleness is gone. He said, God has called you to avoid being subtleness or being subtleness, to be seasonless. God has called you to avoid losing your testimony. Yeah. That's what He's called you to. He's called you to avoid losing your testimony. How do I lose my testimony? Or how do I avoid losing my testimony? But I keep being salty. Amen. But I keep being a season. If I keep seasoning people's life. Amen. I said to you last week, the salt will make no impact mm. as long as it's sitting on the shelf. Mm. The salt will have to come in contact. Yeah. Yeah. It has it's to come in contact Hallelujah. with the thing that needs to be preserved. Yeah. Yeah. The salt will need to come in contact yeah. with the thing, the thing that needs to be preserved. Yeah. But besides, if you put the salt on the, on the counter, yeah. you put your soup on the stove, yeah. your soup can never be seasoned yeah. until the salt comes in contact with the soup. If you put your meat on the counter, the meat will get rotten. It will not be preserved until the salt comes in contact ah, with the yes, meat. Lord. If you put your fish, your fish on the counter, mm. the yeah. fish will spoil until even though there's a salt there, there's yeah. a salt on the same counter, but the salt has to come together. Ah, ah, Jesus. Ah, has to ah, come together. God. That's why we are salt of the earth. Mm. Amen. We need to come in contact. With those in our community, yes, Lord. with those in our workplaces, Amen. with those in our schools, yes, with those in our, in, in our, even in our family, yes, you know, can be contact with them. Yes. We need to preach the gospel yes. to them. We need to talk to them about the author of life. Yes, the author of life, Jesus. That's what we make called to do. Yes. And I want to challenge all of us. Yes, Lord. Even as we go through. This challenging times in, in, in the world history. Mm. Remind yourself that you are the salt of the earth. Mm. Amen. And the reason why it is important that you are salt of the earth, the reason why that 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 that, that uh, it is important that you're salt of the earth, or what it means to be salt of the earth, mm. is because you've been called to preserve. Amen. Amen. You've been called to preserve. Mm. Yes, Lord. You've been called to preach. Mm. Reach out to those who are dying with our Christ. Amen. I challenge all of us. I don't want to be anything more than being the salt of the earth. Amen. I don't want to be anything else other than being the salt of the earth. Hallelujah. I want to make sure and I pray God help me. Any person I come in contact with who needs some level of taste in their life, I must be able to impact them Amen. with the season that I have. Amen. The season I have. Yeah. I must be the yeast yeah. I can influence the world. I must be the salt can season the earth. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I pray that God will help us by his spirit. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by the yes. spirit of the living God. Mm -hmm. And we rely on him. You see, God does not give you a, a vision without a provision. Yeah. Oh, if God okay. says you are the salt of the earth, he gives you what it takes Amen. to manifest Amen. your saltiness. Amen. If God says you are the salt of the earth, he gives you what it takes to season others' life. Yeah. He will give you the grace you mm. give you the strength. Hallelujah. You'll give you the courage yeah. to do that. Mm. I pray that God will help us. Mm. That we'll continuously remind ourselves mm. that we are the salt of the yeah. earth. And know that it is important that you know that you are the salt of the earth. Amen. Keep your testimony. Amen. Keep your testimony. Amen. That's, that's what it's all about. Mm. Keep your testimony. Don't, don't, don't allow bitterness to enter you because that is the easiest way you lose your saltiness. Don't allow bitterness to enter you. When you lose your test saltiness, you won't let people be drunk or not. No, I want to be useful to my generation. And the only way I can be useful to my generation is by keeping my season flavor. And by keeping my flavor. 
preserving the things of the people that are coming up. We do that, God will help you. Hallelujah. Let's turn to our feet. Hallelujah.